We're off to see the Netling, the wonderful wizard of news. Tech news, that is. Okay. MSI is known for making killer gaming components and complete gaming systems, and now they're bringing the same passion to peripherals with mechanical keyboards, gaming mice and mouse pads, and headsets. Click the video to learn more. Elon Musk has finally revealed his master plan, and it might sound a bit ambitious, but it's doable. The master plan is a four-part plan. Part one involves creating solar panel roofs with integrated battery storage with the help of solar energy company Solar City. The next part is to expand to different modes of transportation. Elon Musk mentions that they plan to expand to heavy-duty trucks and also high-passenger density urban transport. Apparently, these are already in the early stages of development and should be ready to be unveiled next year. Year. Part 3 is developing self-driving capabilities to be 10 times safer than manual driving via massive fleet learning. And the final step to the master plan is to make it so that your car will be able to earn money for you while you aren't using it. This last part would rely heavily on self-driving tech, but it's basically ride-sharing. You would be able to add your car to the Tesla shared fleet just by tapping a button on the Tesla phone app. What do you guys think of the master plan? Were you expecting something else? Let us know! Comment below! Square Enix has just launched a teaser website for something very interesting. They're making an RPG for the Apple Watch, and it's called Cosmos Rings. The teaser site doesn't offer a lot of details other than a picture of the Apple Watch with the game on the screen. However, Japanese website Gamer has a few screenshots and the game looks very confusing. But if Cosmos Rings does well for the Apple Watch, this could start a wearables game revolution. Hopefully Cosmos Rings isn't too addicting like Pokemon Go or else we might all have to get Apple Watches. And I guess iPhones too. The teaser website does not currently list a release date and simply says that it's coming soon. Corning has recently announced their fifth iteration of Gorilla Glass, aptly named Gorilla Glass 5. The older iterations of Gorilla Glass could survive drops on hard rough surfaces from 1 meter high. The new Gorilla Glass 5 can survive drops from 1.6 meters high and survives face down drops 80% of the time. Gorilla Glass 5 is now in production and we should start to see devices use it later this year. Jackachu, I choose you! You snippy snippet! Yeah, lightning round. Get back in the ball. God, it's so hard to find good Pokemon nowadays. Periscope broadcasts can now be embedded anywhere on the web. All you need to do is embed the stream into a tweet. Microsoft is cutting off support for Skype on older Android devices and even Windows phones. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense, Microsoft. Why cut off your own devices? Samsung might be looking into the automotive industry as they have just invested $450 million into Chinese electric car firm BYD. Edward Snowden is designing an iPhone accessory that allows you to monitor if and when there are unwanted radio transmissions. Open Source Virtual Reality, aka OSVR, has launched their pre-orders for their HDK2 VR headset and shipping starts July 29th. And Fantex is expanding their product lineup to include GTX 1080 water blocks. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post linked in the description. When fliegen hinter fliegen 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 nach. Hey, for those of you who sometimes tune out at this point, you can win big, so listen up. Intel sent us this mystery tube here with something to give away inside, so let's check it out. I, I have no idea what it could be. I mean, no idea. Do you need help? I, I'm good. I think this is the giveaway. But it's a poster. Ugh. We'll show you this poster. It's the extreme big challenge that we're a part of as well. And a ton of other lovely people here, including our friends at NCX PC, are a part of it. So, oh, Jack's gonna help me. Sweet. So they've provided us with five Steam gift cards as well. So in celebration for the Intel Extreme Rig Challenge, 
five of you guys will have a chance to win one of these Steam cards, and they are $100 Steam cards. All you have to do is share this video on Twitter, include our Twitter handle at ncix.com, D-O-T-C-O-M, and use the hashtag, hashtag, Intel Rig Challenge. We'll be picking winners at random in 72 hours, and we'll announce the winners next week on Netlinked. Plus, if you enter, to win the Steam gift card giveaway, it also enters you into the Extreme Rig Challenge grand prize draw. That means you have a chance of winning one of seven custom PCs showcased at PAX Prime. Each system will at least feature the Intel Core i7-6950X Extreme Edition 10-core processor and an Intel 750 series SSD. So make sure you vote every day for your favorite team because voting ends for a spot at PAX August 1st, but everyone will have a chance to win until September 3rd, but vote for August 1st to help pick the winners at PAX and to enter to win these. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch more of our videos, you can click right over here. If you want to tweet us, our handles are right over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. I'm off to see the wizard.